each one of these straps working load limit is 5,400 pounds. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus two on the back, that's 11. Times five, that's 55,000. 11 times 400 is 4,400. That's 59,400 pounds. 59,400 pounds is the aggregate working load limit. I am going to put chains on this because the whole load is 40,000 pounds, but this thing, I'm not sure how much that weighs and I just don't like, I don't feel safe with just those two straps. Can I get where I'm going with those two straps? I sure can, I can. I can get myself in the truck, get behind a wheel, get up to New York with those two straps. Do I want to? Absolutely not. So I'm gonna get some chains. It's actually an opportunity to show some of the real guys what you might have to do with your chains. I hate these cars. You know what? These gloves right here are not the business. I got them off of Amazon. Reason being is the inside of the glove. The inside of the glove is not at the fingers isn't sewn in. So every time you put your hand out, it pulls the fingers out. And if your hands get sweaty, it makes it even worse. These are my favorite. These right here, see that? I get these off my man in New York by the bag, bulk. like it's about to rain so we want to wrap this up we're gonna get these chains in here i felt like this was a, a ideal opportunity to uh show some of the new guys what you will have to do with your chains sometimes because your hook isn't gonna fit through certain eye holes and there will be places that you will go where they have their air compressors and stuff like heat wrapped and they will tell you you can only hook through those holes so you can't say oh well i'll just i'll hook my hook over here and no you're gonna in some places you'll have to pass your chain through through the toe holes or whatever eyelets or toe points whatever you want to call it um that they require you to pass your chains through on this specific load they're not actually requiring chains the guy actually said you could strap it but uh like I said, I don't know how much this weighs. This thing could literally weigh as much as that. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I know it's heavy. I know that's a lot of wrapped copper and, and metal and there's an engine on it, you know. So I'm just not comfortable going from here to New York without it being changed. Like I said, can I get from here to New York without it being chained? I absolutely can. Do I feel safe? Absolutely not. More or less, like, when you really think about it, let's talk about it. When that thing drops off, it's not going to hurt me. So I'm really not worried about me getting hurt. I'm worried about that thing coming off my bed and wiping out a family or somebody's grandparents 
you know, or somebody's kid who just got their license. That's what I'm worried about. That thing falling off the back isn't going to hurt me. So, yeah, I can get to New York. That's not going to hurt me. But I just don't feel safe with just those straps. So, let me get to it. Like I said, it's the ideal time to show some of the new guys what you might have to do with your hooks. Um, if your trainer hasn't shown you yet, I'm going to show you now. Take a look. walk through it I got my bulkhead here uh, here's some pieces of wood I'm taking home with me some finished pieces of wood anyway we got it's a little under 40,000 pounds we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that's uh 50 55,000 and another 4,400 is 59,400 pounds of securement on there and straps. So I was saying before, I don't, I don't know what this machine weighs. I'm not comfortable going down the road uh, with it just strapped. Will I get hurt? Probably not. This thing will fall off the side of the back of the trailer. However, will somebody else get hurt? Absolutely. I might wipe out a family, uh, somebody's kids. You never know. Uh, that's, that's not what I want to do. I want to be safe when I'm getting down the road. So um, I added chains. 
Y'all be cool. Stay fresh. Put God first. Trace Mass. I'm glad to be back with y'all. I never left.